I continue to get my Knicks on. This is getting a little silly, I will admit. There are way too many videos coming up, but uh, why not? I mean, I, like I said, I'm laid up with uh, with a hip injury, and I'm just I'm just being away at the thing. So in a previous video, I had configured Emacs in a way that I said I knew was incorrect. I configured Nix to configure Emacs in a way that I think was incorrect. And that way was to have a, a dot file directory that included not only dot files, but software. And so this is the directory that gets copied over when we run NixOS Rebuild. This has a bunch of software in it that um, is controlled by Home Manager. And because it's controlled by Home Manager, uh, I haven't even tried it, but I, I, I imagine I'm unable to add new Emacs packages to, uh, to, to my configuration. So um, rather than do that, I think what I'm apt to do is I'm apt to allow uh, Home Manager to install the packages rather than have them uh, on the file system as if they were installed by the Emacs package manager. And in fact, I I don't need all this stuff. I I think I only need a few things out of here. This is just this is just most a lot of this is cruft that I don't use anymore. So I spent a bit of time. Um, coming up with a better solution to the problem. So right now, um, it is still configured with with the ELPA directory inside of my uh, Emacs D folder. Yeah, so this ELPA directory has all this software in it. I want to get rid of that, and I want to allow Emacs, I'm sorry, Home Manager to install these packages. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, I'm going to edit my next file. Let's do that first. Um, my configuration.next file, and I am going to copy this stuff over. I think these are all the packages I need. It's a pretty meager set of packages. Imagine being a developer 20 years and those are the, those are the max packages you use. <laughs> That's just sad. But true. Uh, let's see. Uh, so Emacs. This is inside this is inside of the home manager section. So yeah. This is the beginning of the home manager section. We say programs Emacs enable equal true. And Instead of just that, I want to have extra packages. So we'll get rid of this duplicate entry here. Um, yeah, and so this will cause Home Manager to install packages that I typically use. That's my cat. He's cute. Um, and I'm sure I missed some, but, you know, I might as well just leave them out for now. I'll, I'll bump into them as I open buffers that I have extensions that it doesn't recognize. Um, and don't get excited by this, this PyCheck PyFlex thing. It doesn't quite, quite work. I can't quite make it work. I typically inside of a, a Python file. Uh, I wonder if it'll work now. Uh, projects. Uh, that is a very strange home. Projects. Well, this is a sudo shell. So hold on a second. Let me do this. If I do edit this, I go to projects. Um, let's, no. let's see. Um, 
we going through set up high? That doesn't work now anyway. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, it should it should uh, invoke fly check on on the buffer as I type, and if I import something that's unused, it should show a little squiggly squiggly line underneath here. I haven't got that to work. I think I had it working at one point on here, but maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, I tried various ways to make it work. I tried to install Pyfix, Pyf, ugh, Pyflix package as a system package, and then I just tried here with this ePackages flycheck Pyflix Emacs package. Um, but that does not work. So that that is a caveat to, to this setup. Um, anyway, so if anybody knows how to make that work, please let me know. Uh, so now that I did that, I can actually go into uh, the place where I'm cop. This is this is sort of the template directory of of where my NixOS configuration takes my Emacs configuration and copies it in there. It, it uses, um, uses, let's see, yeah. So here it will take this directory and copy it recursively. So all I really need to do here is to get rid of the ELPA directory inside of here. So let's move it. Alpha to one directory up. Uh, that's all I really need to do. So now that I've done that. Um, I think. I think I just need to. Yeah. What? What would you like? What would you like? Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay. Well, hang on one check. I'm gonna swim. I'm gonna swim next first. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Now, yeah, now I think uh, if I add Nix, look at that. I have Nix mode installed, so I have syntax highlighting. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And if I, um, CD2 projects, sorry, Emacs, Emacs.d. Elpa is no longer in there. By the way, I, I made this assertion that Home Manager didn't clean up after itself when it put files in various directories. I think I was, to I was totally off the mark on that. I think I, instead of, I thought I disabled a dot file and it left the dot file there, but I think I disabled Home Manager entirely, so it couldn't clean up after itself. It, it disabled itself before it could do that, so it is blameless, I believe. In any case, uh, now all the software that uh, that was in the ELPA directory is installed via Home Manager. I don't actually know where it puts it. I don't think I need to know. <laughs> uh, I probably do eventually. I go in here and edit setup pi. Oh no, break it through. Setup pi. Uh, yeah. So I have Python mode. I have. Do I have restructured text mode? I do. Restructured text mode. Excellent. So yeah, so that works well. I was just gonna stick this other thing in here. This sh per host config in here. Um, I I have a another machine where my it's a it's a Raspberry Pi and the username that is the main user on there is Pi it's the Chris M. So I figured out how to set that up declaratively inside of um, Home Manager configuration. So runs SSH. Yeah. So. Uh, Manager configuration, blah, 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 blah. I suppose that we can 
Uh, it doesn't make sense to go nowhere, really. Copy this. Put it, I guess we'll put it up here. And it's this, the magic comes in this matchbox thing. So the, it'll generate a .ssh config file. As a matter of fact, I'm going to remove the one that's there now because I think it's just to show there's nothing on my sleeve. Oh, it already did. It was it was controlled by Home Manager, so it already removed the file. Um, but as, as I put that in there, it will generate a .ssh slash config. <laughs> yep. Now what that'll let me do is I'll just I'm I'm able to just it'll uh SH config and it has this host located so you use your pie, so I can just save select. I have to type NixOS or Pi in. Uh yeah. So yeah man. It's coming along. It is coming along. I'm going to go feed my cat.